what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video today we have my dad in the chair and it's been about six weeks since i gave him a good haircut and as you can tell his hair was looking quite rough got quite a bit of calyx right there on the back and his hair itself is just really thick so we agreed to trim this down with a number four on top with the lever all the way open that way we're not going too short and we are going to leave some length on top but not too much Next, we're gonna go ahead and go bald all the way around with the Andy Slimline Pros. I am going pretty high on this fade as I just want the cut to be shorter. And in my opinion, this type of cut just looks really good on my dad. So it's something I definitely enjoy doing. I have my trim two trimmers that I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all the bulk underneath. And as you can see, these things just slice right through the hair, taking all that bulk off very quickly. That way I don't have a lot of hair left over when I go over them with the Bronze Series 9 shavers. But right here, I'm just going with the grain with the one and a half guard. And now I'm going to go against the grain with the one and a half guard. And I'm going to go all the way up pretty much into the natural comb over part line that you see. But I'm not going to be digging into the hair. I'm just going to be pretty much swooping up in a clean motion. With no guard on the clippers, I'm going to go ahead and create my first real guideline. And I started with the lever all the way open. And I'm just going to go ahead and slowly close the lever to blend out that line while only using the corners of the blade. I know I say this in every video, but it's very important that you try to use just the corners of the blade when you're blending just because uh, it helps to not create another line. To blend out that previous one and a half guard that I used on the side, I'm going to go ahead and start with the lever all the way open and I'm just blending with the number one. The video is sped up so I'm not cutting his hair as fast as it looks. But I am just going to keep throwing up the lever until I'm pretty comfortable uh, with the blend and I feel that that's as low as I can get with that current guard. In my head, I did feel that these steps were very easy uh, when it came to cutting his hair because I'm not using a lot of guards and there's not really a lot of steps. We started with the one and a half guard, uh, then we just moved to the one guard while adjusting the lever from an open position to a closed position. And now to blend out that number one guard, we have the half guard on. And I started again with the lever all the way open and I'm just closing the lever until I can pretty much see that the line is blended out as much as I can get with that current guard. I know you guys can still see a line from the half guard. It would only take down so much of his hair and this will probably be with most people that you cut. So the next step would be to use no guard starting with the lever all the way open and just slowly closing it until I feel comfortable that that bottom line was blended out. There was still a darker line on the hair so I went with a one and a half guard with the lever about halfway and I'm just trimming any extra little hairs that are sitting there still. Just like the previous side, I am going to go ahead with the one and a half guard with the lever all the way open and I'm going to clean up all this bulk right here on the side. You already know we got to clean up all this extra little hair on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and skin it with the Bronze Series 9 shaver. Since I didn't create the guidelines at the same time, I was just pretty much using my best judgment on how low or high to go. 
on this and i would pretty much say i did get it spot on with this first guideline just to match the other side but if you are a beginner i would recommend just doing both guidelines at the same time that way you can make sure that it's even all the way around the head with these trimmers unlike the other side they didn't fully uh, blend out that bottom line like i wanted so with this next step i use my wireless wall trimmers and i'm just going to go ahead and clean up the line just a little bit with corners of the blade while also brushing any little hairs off So with this side of his hair, it's uh, a little bit different than the left side that I did previously. With this side, it kind of grows at like an, a slanted angle. So I do feel that there is a little more blending required on this side. I have to kind of go in different directions. And sometimes I just have to use different techniques or little tips and tricks just to get it blended just right. Believe it or not, that may happen with most people um, whose hair you cut. You know, it all depends on how somebody sleeps, their lifestyle. Do they brush their hair? Do they not brush their hair? So um, throughout the process of cutting different people's hair, different textures, you're definitely going to learn a lot of tips and tricks on how you guys can um, pretty much better your blending technique. With the half guard still on, I'm not going to go more than halfway closed on this. I'm just focusing on that bottom line as I'm blending as well. Now with no guard, I am using just the corners of the blade and I'm just focusing on that bottom line closing the lever little by little now remember before I just did the step without the guard I had the one and a half on and I was just uh, cutting down a little more bulk now I'm using the one guard to blend out that one and a half and these are the Oster blending comb I believe they're called and most people when they do clipper over comb a lot of them don't put a guard on but most times I like to use a one guard I don't use any other guard but a one guard I feel like the one guard is the sweet spot and it just helps to blend the side of the hair a lot better and with my dad he does have a little bit of uh, thinning in the back of his head very small area uh, right there where I'm cutting right now so I feel that using the one guard is just perfect because it didn't take off like a whole bunch of hair it just blended it really well a little similar in my opinion um, to using thinning shears I'm just combing his hair the natural way that it'll be combed he does have a little bit of hair um, that grows from the bottom not so much a widow's peak but it is a good amount of hair that just naturally grows there so with the scissors I'm just gonna clean that up and right after, I'll grab my Andy Slimline Pros and just do a little more cleanup work here at the front. He doesn't like a super sharp lineup, so I'm not going to go ahead and make it super crispy, but I am going to clean it up pretty well that this hair isn't noticeable here in the front. Of course, I got to score off the sides a little bit. And do a little cleanup to the C cup area. At this point in the cut, my dad was definitely checking himself out. I'm pretty sure he's thinking about which females he's going to hit up on Facebook later. A lot of things are going through his mind now. Getting back right into this cut, I am cleaning up his natural part line. Not going to make it super wide but wanted to keep it more of a natural look and not so much on the pretty boy side just because that's not his style Yeah. 
The scissors, when you go over that line, they really help to get any of that excess hair that tries to overlap into that area. That way you can get a nice clean finish when you're done. I'm applying some Johnny B hairstyle gel to his hair. I like it because it doesn't flake and it leaves a nice little gloss once it dries. Doing a little more cleanup work here at the front, cleaning up with the Bronze Series 9, that way I didn't have to use the straight razor. And I'm just going over the back of the head one more time just to ensure that I got all those little hairs and he has a nice skin finish. Before I end this cut, I'm just cleaning up all the little hairs that are left on his neck. And I just want to show you guys the little before video one more time just so you can see that before and then after. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.